Good morning. It's the beginning of the second day of me working on the air prune boxes and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I got the soil mixed up. Well, it's really a potting medium. I got it mixed up last night before the storms got too bad and I'm ready now to fill my boxes and get all the rest of my seeds planted. So let's get to it. Okay, next batch is done. I have persimmons in this one. These are the fermented persimmons that I talked about on the last video. And then here I have three containers of pecans. These are uh, native pecans for Oklahoma. And then at the end, two black walnut. So I still have one that I can fill here. I believe that I have at least one more bucket of hickory that need to go in. And then I've got enough to do another row and I'm probably going to harvest some maple seeds from my house in town and propagate those and then possibly do some more elderberry. I'm not sure yet. Need to make a plan, but yeah, that's what I have so far. So like I said in the last video, I am behind in getting this work done. I am setting up this 27 acre farm by myself. I am uh, a widow of almost two years. And so the tasks get done as I can do them. And so this is the result of stratifying the hickory nuts, but not getting them into the air prune boxes in time. So when I took the lid off, this is what I have. So obviously they were happy doing this. And this is a method that is so simple that I will continue it in the future. What I did last year was to simply take some of the decomposing bark that I've got in a pile that I had dropped from a local arborist in the beginning of 2022. So it had broken down quite a bit already. And um, I took that and layered in the base of the five gallon bucket a little bit, probably three to four inches or so. And then I started layering the hickory nuts in and I would just surround them with wood chips as I went. And then I topped it off with wood chips at the top. So basically the center um, was layered with the tree nuts and then a layer of wood chip on top. And then I set all the buckets right here on the Eastern side of my shop. Um, which when the oak tree uh, dropped its leaves in the fall, fall, winter, and early spring, the buckets were outside along that wall. They would get rain, they would get sun, they would get cold, and it was the perfect conditions for these to stratify. So it may not work with all seeds. I've got some persimmons that um, haven't germinated yet, but I just put them out. So we'll see what happens, but definitely for hickory nuts and walnuts and pecans, um, this method works. So what I'm doing is I am gently removing the seedlings from the bucket and I'm just putting them directly over into the air prune boxes. And then I'm going to take some of my uh, potting mixture and I'm going to place that around them and just let them go for the summertime. Keep them watered. And hopefully in the fall, I'll have a lot of seedlings that I can sell as bare root or even uh, pot up and sell. Well, this wasn't the way I wanted to end the day, but I went and got the tractor stuck. So, not so good, but I'm getting it taken care of. Well, I think my late husband would be proud of me. 
because I got it out by myself. Isn't that something? Gonna need a big cleaning though. Well, I got it out. It's uh, quite messy. I've been using buckets of water. I don't have any pressurized water out here at the farm, just rainwater. But uh, I do have a pump and a generator. So tomorrow I'll bring those out and give it a good wash down. It probably needed it anyway, but all seems to be well. One of the things I've realized through these different trials that I've been through, these problems that I have to solve out here, you know, by myself as a single woman, I was married for almost 35 years and my husband passed away um, in July of 22. Um, but one of the things I've realized is every time there is a, um, a problem, it just shows me another area where I need to learn, you know, more skills that I need to acquire to be successful out here. Um, and I can do it. I know I can.